When you come into the doctor's office and have a complaint, there may be a symptom that you're having or there may be a problem that you're um, identifying to your physician, that's when the decision is made to or not to do an endoscopy. For patients who have eosinophilic esophagitis, there are three reasons that you might need to do that. One is to confirm the diagnosis by obtaining a piece of tissue. The second may be to understand whether the tissue has responded to the treatment that's been provided. And then the third is to actually provide treatment to the patient that may have a narrowing or a stricture. So those could be the three reasons to do it. And in our practice, we always think about what will we do with those results? How will those impact care overall? And it's important to remember there are kind of two different ways to think about this. There are clinical decisions that are made to try to understand whether the tissue has responded to a certain treatment, and the biopsies let us know that by examining the numbers of eosinophils as well as other associated features. Other patients may be involved in a treatment study, and that is a different situation where endoscopies need to be done at regular time periods that are pre-designed and pre-identified as a part of that study. So those times are very set. The times when they're done clinically may be different, and that can vary amongst different uh, clinicians. We like to think about this as to what we will do with the results and how will those help to manage care over time.